Hogwarts Legacy just revealed a brand new cinematic trailer. From important story details to key locations, here are five major details you may have missed from Hogwarts Legacy's new trailer. The first piece of dialogue in this trailer drops some big hints to the main character's arrival at Hogwarts. A female character ties a letter to an owl and says, take this, find them. The owl then leaves Hogwarts and we follow its journey throughout the trailer. Now, I do not recognise the voice of this female character. We definitely haven't heard it before. They do, however, have a London accent. They could be a professor we haven't heard before, a Ministry of Magic official, or a well-known witch. Either way, I think find them is referring to the main character. I therefore think we get invited or summoned to Hogwarts via this letter. As we watch the owl embark on its journey, the music turns more tense and suspenseful, so I believe it's crucial that the letter makes it to the main character. This invite ties in closely with a major detail I discuss later about the starting location of our character, so be sure to stick around to learn about this location. Next, we get a new look at Hogwarts Castle and inside the Great Hall. As the owl flies over Hogwarts, you get to see the true scale of how big it actually is. It's massive! You can see Avalanche has really stayed true to the law, and Hogwarts could be up there on the list of biggest explorable buildings in an open world game. Now, the Great Hall is the heart of the castle and we get some new viewpoints. Here we can see four new house flags. We've never seen this design before but they look really cool with the bright colours. We then get a good look at the stained glass window which features all four houses. If you look closely, you can see the house animals at the top but also the artefacts that belong to each house. Hufflepuff's cup, Gryffindor's sword, Ravenclaw's diadem and Slytherin's locket. Another nice nods to the law. We then get a bird's eye view of the Great Hall and we can see the addition of table runners across each of the four house tables. It also looks like these three students are practicing their charms work and trying to levitate a book. I hope we are free to sit at our house table in the Great Hall and watch the world go by. Overall, I enjoyed getting a new look at the Great Hall. Now, the most important detail from this trailer is a dialogue piece that comes from Professor Matilda Weasley. Here, we see several students gather around shouting Professor as she says, we don't know what magic caused this. Now, I believe this hints at some kind of accident involving powerful ancient magic happening at Hogwarts or near Hogwarts that has the professors and students spooked, kind of like in the Prisoner of Azkaban when they knew Sirius was inside the castle. This is also backed up by the fact that we know the main character survives something before their journey at Hogwarts begins. In the State of Play blog post, it is revealed that the main character is a bit of a celebrity from the outset due to the fact they survived something. I suspect this is the event that Professor Weasley is referring to and is why we are summoned or invited to Hogwarts. I think it's either so we can help solve what happened, fight what the cause of the incident was, or we have come to Hogwarts for our own protection. Either way, it involves ancient magic and that's why we are working closely with Professor Fig, who teaches magic theory. Next up, my worst nightmare has been confirmed. Acromantula, or more commonly known as giant spiders. I genuinely struggle to watch this part of the trailer. However, it does open up a few questions. Why are these two students in the Forbidden Forest and why are they being attacked by a big group of spiders? It could be related to the event Professor Weasley talks about as the next few scenes do have a darker tone. We see what appears to be a poacher's camp with a wizard trying to control a hippogriff. He doesn't hesitate to cast a Vada Kedavra, aiming at the owl carrying the letter. This follows onto a witch and two wizards protecting themselves from a dragon using the Protego spell. Now, these don't look like dark wizards, so they could be from the Department for the Regulation and Control of Magical Creatures. I think this part of the trailer is a hint towards magical creatures being a big part of the game. We get to rescue magical animals and bring them back to our vivarium in the Room of Requirement. However, we have to remember that some of them have been corrupted by the dark wizards and goblins. The final detail that you may have missed is a major one, and it's right at the end of the trailer. The owl has finished its perilous journey through the surrounding lands of Hogwarts and finally delivers its letter to what can only be the main character. It's only visible for one second, but there's a very famous landmark here, Big Ben. That means that the main character is in London before they arrive at Hogwarts. Personally, I think this is a hint that we will see Diagon Alley, which is of course located in London. 
that would make a perfect start to the game, travelling through the gateway from the Muggle world into the Wizarding world. What also backs this up is that we see in the state of play Gringotts and Ollivanders, which are both in Diagon Alley. Then we see the character read the letter, she gasps, and then she sees Hogwarts in her eyes. Going back to what I mentioned earlier about the unknown character having a London accent, they could be a relative of the main character. But who knows, London is a big place home to many witches and wizards. This tease at Diagon Alley is super exciting and I really hope we get to go there. It would be amazing to explore it, but even if it's just a cutscene, I'll be happy that it's included. Overall, we got some big hints at the main story for the beginning of Hogwarts Legacy. We're less than three weeks away from release, which means we will be able to start playing very soon. Be sure to follow my Twitch, which is linked in the description below, to join me on my Hogwarts Legacy journey on the 7th of February. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the trailer. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Hogwarts Legacy content. Thank you for watching, see you next time.